In this video installation instructions, I'll show you how to install the lens adapter onto the Quest 2. So let's begin. It's pretty easy. We'll send you a link or we'll show you a link in the description below, but you need to go online to Zenny Optical and order these style of frames. These are like the Harry Potter style frames. And of course, because we don't sell the lens and we can't really sell or prescription lenses to you we don't have that capability so any optical you order from them get your prescriptions and once you get them they'll come of course in those harry potter potter frame style and it comes with these round lenses what i've done once you take them off from the lens not to be confused between the left and right i noted or i put a marking a small marking on the lens you don't have to do this but i do this for myself just to keep the left and right in sync or um so that I, I can remember that so i mark a red for right on the right lens because once you mix it up if your prescription are really similar then it's hard to distinguish when you're working with these which are left or right and you may get a headache when you wear them and you may know you may wonder why you're getting a headache because you have the left and right mixed up. So that's just my tip. Red, I marked it here. So now what we're going to do is once you buy these adapters from our store, you want to put that into the Quest first. So what I want to do is you want to remove the foam face mask. And to do that, you just, to that, you just pull it up and now you can see inside the quest and it's easier to work with so you want to have a base you want to set the base first and for us for us our part here we have it beveled you can see this bevel it's not completely flat and that's because once you set it in that bevel will be on this edge. It'll give a little room for the nose of your bridge so it won't make any contact. Some other designs, we've heard that some people have complained that their nose touches the piece and it irritates them during gameplay. So hopefully this cutout will help avoid that issue. So you wanna put that base in first. And to do that, you see, <laughs> I don't know if you can see this but on each of the lens piece here there's a little notch right here where my finger is there's I think three of them around one two there's three of them these little notches on the lens part you want to take the base and you can denote that this is the base well let me tell you the general idea first we want to get the base in there and then this top piece goes in here and then the lens goes inside the top piece so I'll demonstrate that shortly so stick on the base the base will always stay and you'll never take that out uh, it stays on the oculus so if you sharing the oculus course with your family members not a problem because you can leave the base in there and it won't touch the it won't because well, we do that as well so we have other people share and it doesn't bother them doesn't touch them at all so and this is the right side we could tell because our piece we have engraved it it says right bottom R B. You can see that close. I don't think you can see it, but once you get it, you'll see it. It says R B for right base. And accordingly, the left side will say L B for left base. So I'm gonna attach the left base first. And I start off, there's a little piece of plastic that's sticking out from here, and that kind of goes at the bottom. But I found it easiest by kind of tucking that piece in and then working the rest of the edges inside so let me see if i could do this at this angle you kind of just got to work your way around it and then it kind of goes in and you could feel and hear that kind of clicks in but as long as it's secure it's not a problem it's not going to pop out or anything like that so it's friction fit i have the left or the right base now do the same thing with the left base i'm going to start tucking it in at the bottom and then use two of my hands to use 
both of my hands to uh, kind of just slip it in there. And shimmy it in so it's at the right angle. Okay, there we go. And you can just do minor adjustments until it fits into the groove. And there we go, you have the left and right. Now you wanna get the top piece. Top piece and the idea is that you want the lens go here and it'll clip into the magnet part. See, I'll put that in and it clips and it stays with the magnet piece on the top here. So that's how you install it. So let's get the right lens again. See, I've already kind of mismatched it. So I gotta find my lens with the right side or the red one here. So when you're putting your face against this, just like a normal glass is here, the con, there's a convex, convex part, that's curved, that goes outside. So you wanna put that here. What I do is I tuck the lens under this clip first. Now you can do either, whatever works, and then just use a little pressure and slip it in. And that stays in there, and that's it. Now put this in, and it stays. Repeat for the left side. And we have a lot of colors you could choose. What I like doing is I like mixing the colors so this way when I take it out, so other family members who don't wear glasses, I can take off the top piece and hand it to them. And then when it's my turn, I can just put my magnetic piece back in and it stays in. Red, red is for right, and I'll just use blue for left. And that's what I've done. Uh, just, it's easier for me to color coordinate. You could do the same thing, just on our store, mix and match the colors if you choose. And so this way you can share it amongst all your family members. So I'll do the same thing here now. I'm gonna clip it in. And it's in. You can rotate it. I know, let me take it back out. So let me take that out. You know, typically lens have a thinner side and the thicker edge, I believe. Typically when you buy glasses, I think the thick part might be on outside. So you can orient it the same way. Uh, so maybe it's designed for your PD, your pupil distance, uh, to be a certain area on the lens. So you could do that if uh, you remember how it originally came on the frame. So you might wanna pay attention and mark how it was situated on the frame so you can replicate that onto the adapters. You can take the adapter and rotate the lens like this. So, and then you can just now put that there. And of course, you can put your phone back. And that, see that falls off, it's just a magnet. And that is just the design, so it's quick release once you share with your family members. So. When I put the lens back in, I like to set the pupil distance all the way here so I can change it or easily have reached inside to stick onto the bottom tab and then put the magnet and there we go. Stays. And that concludes the installation instruction. Hopefully that was helpful. Contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.